Welcome back to the project, guys. Well, we're plugging along here. Probably some changes since we kind of checked in last time. Haven't got a lot of filming done lately. Uh, we're starting to get pushed, pressed for time here, so we're pushing pretty hard. Here's a few of those pieces now. Um, we've been processing through these, starting to get them ready for the application where they'll go. Uh, one of the things that people were really concerned about was how high this deck was to the bulwarks, uh, especially back there. It would be practically even with the old bulwarks, and so that's why we're putting on these beautiful aluminum ones. So this is the first one in place. Um, most people will still think they're awful low. This is like probably average for a saner that's added bulwarks. Um, most of them are lower somewhere in here. This will still get a two inch cap rail on it. And then we'll also have handrails of bolt to it that we can remove depending on what fishery we're doing. So these will be higher. They'll be the handrail will be around waist high, somewhere in there when we're done. So it'll be plenty safe. Um, these are turning out really good. Uh, if you notice, they got a curve to them. So what we did was we got four foot by 12 foot sheets of this and we split it in half. We knew that we'd be looking at about a 22 inch, 21 inch finished product. And so that gave us the amount of material we needed to take this curve out. And so that's what Tristan is doing over here is, is cutting uh, the excess material off of that one. And uh, this will give a nice curve to it. It follows the rub rail outside. And then of course the top where the rail will bolt, the cap rail will bolt should also have a curve in it, and that gives it a really nice look from outside. Otherwise, it'll look boxy and not very, not very nice, not very fair. So uh, we'll pop outside here in a minute after we get this one put back into place. It's basically finished and ready to go. So yeah, I think they're turning out real good so far. Yeah, they look great. Mm -hmm. So we had to do a little bit of uh, modifications on the old shelter deck here, or covering. Uh, probably remember that these used to come down here, so we just kind of nipped those off, added some new straps. This allows us to push this out enough to get these plates in here, but still keeps us uh, more or less watertight. It's been a little bit rainy today. Uh, it's kind of storm passing through, so we've got some rain today. Yeah, it also allowed us to flip the plastic up to get a sight line yeah. down the bulwarks to just make sure it looks good. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and get this tossed up here and then uh, we'll pop outside and take a look. Let's see, there's a clamp right there for you, Tristan. Okay, pause a sec, Matt. Yep. You can set it down there, T, if it's not. Move your clamp uh, forward some. Or to the other side is fine, too. Put it on the other side, maybe. Yeah, there you go. Loosen yours, Tristan, and I'll just pick up just a tiny bit. Okay, right there. Good? Yep, good, good. And then bring me that other clamp there too when you're done. Just 
one? Yeah. Put it. Just kind of hold things together here. So this first uh, plate has got just like two bolts in it right now. And this other one has no plates in it. Sorry about that, folks. All right. Okay, guys, so uh, you can see here, we've got our cap rail. This is a two by three uh, rectangle tube. Uh, quarter inch thick. Um, what we're doing here is rounding off these corners. You can see the transition here to the sharp corners. And that's just to kind of break that edge, makes it a lot more comfortable. Uh, to sit on or makes it a lot nicer in general. Um, to actually make this tube with rounded edges, but we were really struggling to get it sourced. Um, we order our metal from Ryerson down in uh, Seattle and they ship it up to it to us. And uh, they had been searching for a few weeks and hadn't had any luck in finding some uh, rounded tubing so uh, we end up just going with square tube and we're just taking off 3 16 giving a 3 16 radius there's uh, plenty of meat right there so um, no worries about it weakening it at all or anything like that I'll bring you down to the other end and show you Yeah, still tons of meat on the bone. So these will make our cap rail, like I was saying, for our bulwarks over there. Uh, I'm just gonna finish rounding these off. I've got this half of this piece to go, and another half of that one, and the one is all the way rounded off. You can see it makes one heck of a mess. All these little metal shards. We'll see if YouTube's compression uh, gives it the detail that you can see in real life. But basically tons of little tiny aluminum needles. Just uh, have our, our uh, router here that's how we're rounding it off and like I was saying 3 16 bit this one's a quarter or a eighth but that's what they look like works pretty good so yeah uh, we're pretty excited gonna finish rounding these off like I was saying and um, then we're going to have to bend it a little bit in order to match the rake of the bulwarks over here. So we'll pull out our pipe bender and retrofit it to have a couple of flats instead of a roller. And that'll keep it from dimpling or that'll actually spread out the bend load a little better than it would be normally so we'll see how that goes once we get around to it but for now we'll uh round off the rest of these corners so i just set up a little framework here nothing too complicated just a easy little work table clamp it off with my big c-clamp here or I'll attempt to, one-handed. There we go. Holds it in place, it doesn't move much anyways. And then, um, I don't know if it's doing much, but we've got just some hand soap here. And I'm just uh, giving it a little rub on the corner there to hopefully lubricate the, the blade a little bit, make it last a little bit longer. 
it's a lot of inches that thing is cutting so far so we to make it last as long as we can we have two of them but um, we'll get get the job wrapped up before I break into the second one I think so yeah I just uh, rub a little soap on the corner there and like I said I don't know if it's doing anything we saw it on a saw other people doing it on YouTube so I thought we'd give her a try to okay looks good and um, we'll uh, gear up got our full face mask on today these things are invaluable if you're doing this kind of thing it's just a 3m full face mask filtered and uh, that keeps all those millions of chips from bouncing off your face it's pretty nice and of course hearing protection so we'll uh, gear up all right let's rip some aluminum On the this side. Ooh. Okay, so I just have a file here, and that's just to take down this very tiny little lip that the router leaves behind. So, a couple of passes with it. Doesn't take much.
blades cocked just very slightly like this. Because when I weld it, it's going to want to pull it. It's just a tiny bit. You can see there's a little gap there. Wiggle. When these get welded together, that weld will shrink and these plates will straighten. At least that's a plan. Hopefully it's enough. It probably isn't. I'm just going to weld it really fast because we're going to plan on grinding this and buffing it out when we're done. Another day, huh? Mm hmm No, I didn't burn the boat. Scorched my gel coat, Dad. Yeah, so it's pretty much been a, gosh, whole week of metal work. You can see the uh, shed here. It's kind of in shambles again. We've got our cap rail here. You might be able to see, if you look down the line there, that has a curve in it. That's to indicate the deck curve, like that. And then it also has an inward curve, and that's to follow the taper of the hull to the stern. So this took a good while of trial and error, um, kind of just sneaking up on the bend there didn't want to over bend it which is actually pretty funny because the second one we did for the other side we like totally over bent but turned out that we uh got done in like two hours instead of like six hours that one took so go figure uh we just like put it in the opposite way in the bender over there and unbent it a little bit turned out fine so yeah, we got those. Um, you can see these straps over here that we just bent today. And that will be the inside uh, backing plate of our bulwarks here. So lots going on. Finished up removing all the old fasteners and gel coating the fiberglass bulwarks here uh, didn't capture any of that you guys have seen it before so just been grinding away They're all uh, fabbed up. Just need to get them all welded out. Weather's been kind of 
breezy outside and, and cold and so um, they're not completely welded out but they're all in place um, everything's locked down they're actually pretty solid now so that's really nice yeah yeah so, we're really pleased with how they turned out yeah so things are coming right along Everybody around. Yeah. Your bulwarks. Corner back there. Guys have been so busy. Good job, guys. <laughs> yep, back to it. Back to it. It's been a while. I'll show you inside here. It's still a big mess. The guys are still working, so I'm not cleaning yet. Here's our stateroom for me and Len. Hopefully one of these days we can redo it in here. It's our table. I come down with lunch every day. Usually have it pre-made. Oh, here's our stove. All the junk piled on it. The exhaust isn't hooked up yet, so we'll get that hooked up pretty soon. Got our sinks and plumbing done. So nice to have that. Captain's chair still missing. <laughs> like to get a new one. Nice day. Weather's warming up for us. Oh, there's the folks hall. Boys' bunks are down there. It'd be nice to get everything all cleaned up and livable again. I'm trying to figure out a place to mount our TV at. Maybe just to flop down um, above the sink there or something. It folds down from the ceiling. We'll see what we come up with. Alright guys, well thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye guys.